check out this super sweet crag biome. I'm going to build so much stuff on it later. Right now I'm going to go showcase the server I'm playing on. Let's go check out some of our players' projects. Let's start off our journey by heading over to my sister's little hovel. We've got biomes of plenty on our server, so we get these cool terrains and more blocks to build with. This one is a rainforest, which I guess is kind of like a jungle. Uh, a lot less annoying with getting around it though, without all the low-lying shrubs and vines and trying to get through things. But it does have spiders in it uh, that can ruin your day. It's a beautiful Minecraft sunset. So we go up over these bridges. Got some algae and stuff growing out there. Here's my sister's house. Not much to talk about. Uh, just a place to sleep and store stuff. Going over to train station. Head up in here. Got a little restaurant kind of area going on. Welcome to the inn at Opal Point. It's like little uh, bedrooms back there. And escalators for the lazy Minecrafter. Or if your uh, middle finger is just too tired from being pressed against the W key all day. Ooh, employees only. Shh. Don't tell her we were in here. Let's get out of here before we get caught. And downstairs we have the train station. Let's go for a little ride while I give you some details on the server. We're running a Feed the Beast server. Mod pack is Tech World 2, which is running on Minecraft 1.6.4. Nice drop here. That means we have horses, but not bunnies yet. Sorry, you bunny lovers. Uh, I really like this pack just because, unlike, say, a Dire Wolf pack, which I'm pretty sure Dire Wolf is couple uh, um, versions of Minecraft behind. Well, I mean, this is too, but this one, I, like I said, we got horses. That's why I care about. Uh, but besides that, Dire Wolf has a lot of mods that we never really used, uh, like Thawncraft or any of that magic stuff. Uh, we kind of went to some of the other realms every once in a while, but we visited them one, like once and then we never went back. With this mod pack, we use pretty much everything that's on it. I use Biomes of Plenty, of course, because it's part of the pack itself and how the world generates, but I also use things like uh, Forestry to get extra blocks for me to build with, and Bibliocraft for uh, different furniture and stuff, really making uh, the world aesthetically pleasing. Now, that's not to say there isn't some mods for the tech-savvy guys, uh, like Buildcraft, Railcraft, Tinker's Construct, Industrial Craft, Darble Expansion, just to name a few. Uh, we, we do have some tech guys in play, and, and there's enough stuff to keep them busy for a while. And if there's ever anything that I want that they can make, uh, they'll make it for me. Sometimes I have to farm up the materials for it, sometimes I don't, depending on what it is. Like I got this nifty pink axe that uh, slays just about anything I've run across. Uh, my brother went ahead and made that for me because I'm too lazy to look things up on the wiki. Um, there's also a lot of just generally uh, useful mods in this pack. Like, we've got Steve co Steve's carts, we got uh, jetpacks, backpacks, uh, we got not enough items, so we got a nice interface. I was looking up how to make doors uh, earlier. Uh, things like that. Now, the server itself, uh, we don't have very many people to play, it's just friends and family. Uh, we just pick out a spot of the world and, and we do what we want with it and then sometimes we'll have different spots where we'll 
uh, collaborate. Like my mom and sister do a lot of collaboration. They uh, they did this track, uh, Killed by Tree and Genus, my brother and my friend. They are the tech guys. Any any automation that we want done, energy, uh, um, item sorting, anything of that nature, they can do it, and they're great at it. Uh, Missy Trees, my mom, she uh, she farms pretty much everything. If it's plants, uh, or plant related, we can go to her and get it. Uh, Pixel Opal, she does some creative building, some technical building. Uh, she's she's a jack of all trades, master of none. She was the mastermind behind uh, behind these tracks here. And I do a lot of just creative building. Uh, I do houses and landscaping and stuff like that, which is really fed by uh, Genus and Killed by Tree, like just giving me massive amounts of stuff because they have automated things and uh, giving me things like hammers and, and excavators and stuff like that that I'm too lazy to actually build myself. And here is mom's farm. Trees, wheat, hemp, barley, sugar, trees. You want it, she's got it. Back over behind the orchard, we got where all of her animal pens are and the source of all the server lag. Mm. My brother had gotten my mother a couple of mushrooms. She made a few more. Looks like we got uh, birch growing in the tree farm right now. There's a little stable over there built into the mountain. Let's go on into the uh, restaurant slash train station. Got bibliocraft stuff in here. Stools, table, mmm, pigs. Going down the uh, escalator for your finger fatigue. More pigs. More restaurant. And this just heads back out into the train station where we have dog cats, paintings. Alright, here we are over in Genus's area. It's got a tree farm, a noise-making machine. <laughs> over here we got the village I made for breeding villagers. And down here, this guy was ticking me off, so I put him in the hole of shame. All the real magic is downstairs, though. Hello, sheep. Someone's be uh, breeding trees. This horse is here just to scare the crap out of me. Keeps jumping up and down on them pressure plates, opening and closing those doors while I'm trying to work out here. What we got back here? Oh, the bottom of the noise-making machine. I'm glad that's here. Really adds a lot. Fun stuff is all the way at the bottom. Mm. Head on up here. Oh, this lags me out so bad. If you ever wanted a massive amount of lava or green stuff, this is a place to get it. Got a lot of piping going on up there. Ah, I fell down. Yeah, mad sciencey stuff right here. Let's go check out the other mad science lab. And here's my brother's scary area. Or scaria. A little less claustrophobic than Hootie's same amount of mad science going on like this I, I don't even know what this is and he's got blue stuff most of the rest of this is just caves check out some more stuff and here's my latest finished project went with a pseudo Victorian style house because I didn't have a house on this server yet and it's been a while since I've done one 
let's go take a look at her. I've always really liked the uh, the overhangs that Victorian style houses had, so that's kind of what I was going with here. Uh, previously, I tried to do it, um, but they always looked weird. But I think I finally got it down now. Let's go take a look at it from a few more angles. I had a lot of fun doing the roofs on this with the uh, the lipped uh, darker wood there. Uh, had a lot of fun with the dormers too. That was really interesting. And uh, just using lots of different shapes and sizes of things to uh, go about doing uh, doing the porches and everything. Uh, the interior boring. Don't worry about it. I'm not an interior kind of guy. I'm here for aesthetics. Wrap around porch coming out the back. Now the plan was to have a creek come down through here, but that's a lot of landscaping. Uh, turned me off for a while. But there is a place for you to come out on like a little porch area and watch the creek go by. Now let's go look at a project that we've all been working on. Here we are, our very own Sky Island. A lot of features, a lot of contributors. Let's go check it out. And here we are up top, just to give you an idea of the size of this thing. It's about 130 meters across in both directions. Let's take a look at the map so you get a basic idea of the shape. It's a rounded out square. So that's what it's going to look like when it's all finished. Right now I'm uh, making a little corkscrew cave that'll come up and around up to the main level. There'll be stalactites, stalagmites, little uh, cave type dwellings all the way down through. But then up top we'll put a town or a castle or both or something. Haven't really worked that out yet. Let's head on down. Sorry motion sick people. Down here is my work area. Gina sent me up this array that uh, spits out stone for me to use because as you can see I use a lot of it. My sister was kind enough to bring me a bunch of animals up here to keep me company and one villager which of course made me feel obligated to keep him saved so I sealed him away. There, he's making noise. Over here, one of the uh, little cavey things I've already made. It's got a beautiful view of the unloaded cherry grove out here. I'm going to put some buildings and stuff in here as well. That about wraps it up for what's currently going on with everything here. If I can figure out how to get down a ladder, I'll get right back with you. Thanks for watching this server showcase. Hope you guys and girls enjoyed yourself. Let me know what you think. I highly recommend checking this mod pack out. I have uh, Feed the Beast linked below along with my newly made Twitter in case you want to get a hold of me through there. If you like what you saw and you want to see some more, comment below what you'd like to see in the future and subscribe. I'll try to make it happen. Later on.